All right, everybody, this is the after of UTC. Um, it did start pushing the kicker through the top of the frame. Um, and it started pushing this over and ended up splitting the frame rail here. So I think we are going to put one patch plate here. And then that would be, that would max us out on plates. But I'm going to do a couple things and get this car ready. I'm going to put a new brake cable in, um, change the oil, um, put some radiator fluid in it, as long as it's not a bitch to get off of the thing but this frame rail is looking not so great but i don't really give a shit we're just gonna go have some fun i'm gonna go through make sure all the cotter pins are in and it looks like they are so we're just going to um, pull it down a little bit because it raised up a little at utc go through make sure no no seams split Add that one plate over there. Um, I'm pretty sure it is full of water, but I don't know. Maybe we'll just wait. Yeah, I'm just basically going to go through it, make sure stuff's tight, make sure driveline bolts are tight, change the engine oil. Um, yeah, really not too much. Maybe an hour or two of work. And change battery posts. That's what put me out, or that's part of what put me out in Spanish Fork. And then the trunk's pretty much touching the speaker deck. So it definitely has moved somewhere in here, but I don't see any stress in front of the humps. This one rail did bend a little bit here. And here, but we're gonna just let it kind of do its thing. Um, and then worst case, worst case, I might um, put a come along around and suck it back over so it at least goes in instead of to and in, into the tire. But I mean, I drove the car in here, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, we'll uh, show you my dad's car. It did end up moving quite a bit. He smoked the K-Rail like four times though, because he lost brakes as well. So this side's not that bad. Like up front here never moved, but behind the kicker, it, it did kink in. And um, this side is the worst of it. You can kind of, you can kind of see how off-center it is, but it did end up pushing back into the spring pocket and ended up kinking back there, which in turn broke uh, the engine cradle, which in turn made side-to-side -side movement and sheared all the, bolt, all the side bolts out. Other than that... This car is freaking perfect. So we honestly might just restub this car and reclip it next year. As long as the rules stay close to the same. Like the trunk is absolutely perfect. I ended up building a ramp bumper for him, which I think is what removed what relieved a lot of the stress off the rails, plus it being leafed. So this car, I mean this car is fixable. It just would need a lot of work and we don't have a lot of time this year. So we might might end up just restubbing it like cross member forward next year. I don't know. Or just build a new one, because why not? And have this one as a learning point on that we should have played with it. But we are I gotta pull those tires off, get them back to the owner. Because my dad went through one of his tires 
and I got to find whichever tire the other side is for a spare. But I'm going to get working on this. Um, I want to give a shout out to all my sponsors. So I'm just going to work from the front of the car back. We got 208 Fab. Uh, they did the trailing arms. RS Construction with Tom Russell. They built, or he built the rear wheels and tires. And then we got MHC Sign and Design. He does the roofs, wraps, stickers. And he does a bunch of other stuff. That's just what he does for derby cars. And then we've got Impact Rental in Payson, Utah. Uh, he sponsored cash to put towards the build. We've got uh, Devil Dog Transmissions. He uh, sponsored me a transmission for South Dakota. And then Lethal Racing USA. They sponsored me the front wheels and tires which are freaking badass as shit. One of them got a tear in it, but luckily they're doubled. I don't, oh, there's, there's a tear right there. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna run them. I'm gonna bring one front spare and call it a day. And then we got uh, Diamondback Manufacturing. They uh, sponsored uh, a lot of the cage material and then uh, custom metal solutions out of Orem, Utah. Tyler Nelson, he donated the front and rear seat bars for both cars. Um, and uh, I always give a shout out to NLR because of the fast service. I ordered that on Sunday and it was here before I haven't got home. So we're going to, and then I want to give a shout out to Zach. He's a really good friend of mine. He does the Smash MS. The sticker's holding up good. The sheet metal around it, not so much. But I don't remember getting doored, but I'm glad I put a door plate on. I mean, it doesn't look that good at the end, but I don't even remember getting hit in the door. But, and I'm going to throw a pad here and just duct tape it on. But I'm going to get to work on this thing. Still got our stick up. We took third in, uh, in UTC. So we're going to go see what we can do this weekend in Nephi. So I'll uh, try to do a little video when I'm done fixing it and show you guys what I've done.